Okay, I had some issues in my last video where I was using Chaos in Sequencer and the location of the simulation would change randomly and I couldn't get the timing of the animation correct. So someone kindly let me know what I was doing wrong and the fix works. So I thought I would quickly show you guys. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Schellenberg Film. He's the one who gave me this fix and let me know the exact detail of what I need to do differently. So thank you. I have another geometry collection here. So this is fractured already. So last time I went to, so I created a new cache manager by going to the blueprint class and searching for chaos. Um, apparently this is not the way to do it or I left something out. Anyway, the easier method to go about it is, so you select your geometry collection and then up here should have the actor menu and then go down to chaos, go create cache manager. Hit play to record. So that's now being recorded in that cache manager. We'll stop it there. And then when you go to add a new sequence, we'll go to the cache manager we just recorded the sphere in, and then drag that into the sequencer. And then here for the animation timing so last time i set it to play um, and the key i set in the sequencer wasn't working properly so what you need to do apparently is set it to static pose instead and then the animation should work so you set it to static pose and then add track start time and key the time And now it's working. So we'll try rendering this and see if it works properly in the render as well. Because last time um, everything was working in the editor properly, but there were issues in the render and I couldn't figure out why. Add a new camera. Then we'll make the camera move so that we know the timing is right. So we now have the sequence. We'll try rendering it with movie render queue. So EXR sequence, deferred rendering, anti-aliasing 4x4, and then I'll put in AD in default directory. We go set and render local. So our sphere hasn't gone anywhere, which is good. And it looks like the timing is perfect as well. Now you can see it's working as expected. Hope that fix helps you if you were slightly confused by my last video. Thank you again, Schellenberg. Thank you so, so much for helping me out. Cheers.